My name is Rachel Kreider and I live in California in the Hollywood Hills with my husband Shane and my beautiful little baby girl Leia. I became an entrepreneur 11 years ago and it all came about after losing my job quite suddenly. I was a sales executive living in Sydney, Australia at the time. One minute I had the job, next minute I didn't. You know what, losing the job was really the best thing that could have ever happened to me because it allowed me to make the leap from the job environment to becoming my own boss. You know, that's been a journey of 11 years now and haven't looked back. When I decided that I wanted to be a business owner and that the job environment was not going to be the, the path for me to create the goals in my life, I, I just went in search. I decided to take some action, jumped online, sorted through some of the things and uh, put my details into a couple of different websites, ended up uh, connecting with, uh, with some people and ultimately made a decision from there as to what was going to be you know, a, a viable business for me. I just Essentially, I just followed my gut, looked for something that made sense that I could really sink my teeth into. You know, I'm someone who is highly motivated, driven, not afraid to, you know, roll up the sleeves and, and really, you know, do the necessary work to create the results. So essentially, I was looking for a business that if I applied myself, I was going to be able to really create a significant income. I mean, my goal first year in business was to be able to create a, a multiple six-figure income. So I required a business that was going to be in alignment with that high-level financial goal and very excited to say that I actually exceeded that initial goal after getting involved with this company. It's been, uh, it's been an awesome ride. You know, I was a complete rookie with no skills. I mean, I'm a high school dropout, so um, my skill level, if you will, was somewhat limited. And, and back then, my computer skills, by golly, were next to none. So I surrounded myself with people of high integrity, people who had vision, and people who were prepared to teach me what they were doing to create the result. And I was a very good student, so I plugged in and took on board the advice that they were putting forth, the valuable training. The most important lesson that I've learned as an entrepreneur to, to continue getting the result is really being open to continual growth within myself. Um, you know, I'm someone who is always striving for the next level. I really took on board that particular advice and, and aligned myself with something that I'm truly passionate about so that when I wake up in the morning and it's it's business time, I, I mean, I walk into my little home office, a hell of a commute. <laughs> I look to partner with people who are goal orientated, people who are really striving to achieve something quite extraordinary in their life. People who are focused, people like myself essentially who aren't afraid to somewhat roll up the sleeves and do the work. Also people of like mind who like to have fun. I mean this business, it, it's the game of my life and it is so much fun. The most important piece of advice that I could offer someone who's looking to start a business right now is be open to explore the opportunities. I mean, that's what I did when I made the decision that I wanted to become a business owner. I went in search. In order to change one's circumstances, you've got to take responsibility to take that initial step of seeking out something that's going to be a good fit for you. So if nothing changes, you know, nothing changes. The next step, if any of this resonates with you, is to pop your details into the website. I will personally reach out, we'll have a five minute you know, conversation just so I can get some information in front of you and at the end of the day, you know, you'll decide if this is going to be a good fit for you.